Hi, I'm David Kalansky. I work at Alphawave Semi, and I'm here to talk about PCIe technology and generative AI. Generative AI is a technology used to produce content such as audio, video, um, and any other of these creative things that are normally done by humans. There are many unique challenges with generative AI in PCIe applications, but two of the main ones that I'd like to touch are low latency and low power, and PCIe is excellent for both of those. Due to the increased complexity of a generative AI system, and as these models grow larger and larger, the models become too large to fit in a single server or potentially a single rack or even a potential complete data center. And so we have to come up with technologies that connect between point to point topologies. So PCIe is excellent for the use in generative AI because it is specifically tailor-made to support a disaggregated ecosystem. And so you can share resources easily between different CPUs and you can have a more efficient allocation of resources for large data center applications. PCIe is a ubiquitous interconnect that's readily available, providing low latency, low power connections, and that can allow us to build the rails that will go into data centers that are getting upgraded or newly developed. And because of the backwards compatibility of PCIe, you have the option to use cheaper, older components when that's going to support your infrastructure for your new data center. PCIe, as I mentioned earlier, supports the pooling of resources. So you can have it do blocks of CPU, memory, storage, and this allows for the unique challenges involved in working with generative AI, which is a highly demanding, but also flexible resource that has varying needs depending on the exact application being used. As the need for more and more data throughput is used in generative AI applications, PCIe is evolving and goes from an NRZ to PAM4 standard in the current standards and beyond. And that adds complication and complexity uh, that you would expect with this. Uh, and the biggest challenge with it is the increase of bit errors because PAM4 is inherently a smaller eye as it is, you know, now there are three open eyes instead of the one open eye that exists with an NRZ application. And so now we have to introduce FEC, but you can't just have a heavyweight FEC that introduces a lot of latency because that will break your generative AI application. So we have to come up with the flow control unit or FLIT, which is specifically designed to keep latency at a reasonable amount and still work in a generative AI application. Generative AI applications will continue to evolve using PCIe technology by working over Copperlink and optical technologies. Both of these technologies allow us to expand the data center to a larger reach and a more flexible approach to the design of the data center. Copperlink is specifically for an electrical application and optical is, is obviously optical or having your, your data transmit over glass. Uh, and this, this allows you to travel nearly losslessly, though you are still limited to the data path latency delays that are associated with either copper or glass transmission uh, techniques. To learn more about PCIe technology as used in generative AI and any other use of PCIe, please visit us at www.pcisig.com. That's pcisig.com.